We're going to show you how to read from a file in this video, but you'll benefit massively from having a look at the file writing video and for understanding loops uh, for later on. But let's get to it. And what I'll do, I will set up a file on the right. We can have a look at the data in it and then we can sort of go through it and sort of see what's happening. Um, so let's say I've got a uh, file here. Let's call it days. Um, dot txt and let's say it's got a random selection of days in uh, so Tuesday Friday and Sunday let's say it's got those three days in it okay okay so what's the first thing I need to do if I want to pull data out this file if I want to read from it and um, well the first thing I need to do is declare a variable so I'm gonna have days file so it doesn't have to be called my file obviously you can call whatever you want I'm gonna call this one days file and then I use that function again open okay and that's gonna make days file a file variable as opposed to a string or an integer and I'm going to put in the name of the file here uh, which is days.txt uh, and when I do that you have to sort of imagine that there's an invisible sort of pointer we call it so a bit visible arrow which is then put at the top entry in that file so at the moment it's pointing to Tuesday and then I can do this um, let's do this today equals days file dot read line so we're not writing now we're reading so we read a line and I open and close the brackets. Can you imagine what happens when I, when I run this uh, run this particular function on days file? Yeah, Tuesday makes its way from the file all the way over here into this variable here. Okay, and also what happens is also very important. You see this arrow here that moves down one, so that moves down to here. So in this case, it moved down to Friday. So what will happen if I uh, if I print day now? What do you think will be output? Yeah, it will be the word Tuesday that's what would get outputted onto the screen um because i've opened a file i need to remember to close my file as well uh, so i'm going to do that down here all right if i'm just reading one line the top line from a file and i'm done but often it's a bit more complicated than that so i'm going to go on to sort of like using files within a loop and this is like when it gets really sort of complex um but it's an important principle to sort of understand because often when you're reading from a file like i say you want to go entirely the way through it not just sort of like worry about the top entry so let me just clear this away so let's just pretend I've just opened my file again and so my my arrow my invisible arrow uh, is pointed to that Tuesday okay so how do I get it so if I want to I want to go through this file I don't know necessarily how many days are in it how do I get it so it prints out the entire content to the screen well I do it like this I need to use a loop first off and I also need to use a little bit of boolean algebra so I do while not and I also need to remember you know there's three things to remember there um, that I can use this function here end of file okay so that will check if I've hit the end of the file yet so I want to keep going around my loop while I'm not at the end of the file and then from there I can just do two things and this is going to be code which you know you will have seen this already um, so I'm going to do day equal days file dot read line print day and then I'm going to do an end while here all right let's just sort of like figure out what's going on with this little bit of code so first off I open my file Oh, that reminds me actually, there's one very important thing that I haven't done. I've opened this file, so I need to close it at some point. There is usually marks for doing that, so make sure that you close your file because it's very important to do. So I'm just going to do that quickly. Okay, so let's run through this algorithm and we can sort of figure out what's happening with it. Okay, so I'm going to set up a little trace table here as well so we can keep, uh, keep eyes on what's in each of the variables. So I'm going to have day. Uh, and I'm going to have print day as well. So we know what's going to get output. All right, we are going to go to this line of code here. So we're going to, while not, days file to end of file. Are we at the end of the file yet? No, we're not, because the arrow is pointing to the top of the file there. So we're going to move our arrow down here. That's the next line of code we're going to do. Day equals days file dot read line. Now, two things happen here. The first thing is that the word Tuesday gets put in today. So it, gets, it reads that line of the file. The next thing that happens, it can't be forgotten, is this arrow then automatically move moves down because we've done a read line so then I'm going to print day so I'm going to get the word Tuesday printed out whoops should move that down one okay and now we're at the end of our loop so we go back up here and we go well not days file dot end of file. is it are we at the end of the file yet no we're not we're in the middle of the file and this continues so here day equals Friday critically and really critical to understand how this whole process works this arrow this invisible arrow in the file also moves down as well. And I think you can see how this is going to go. So I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. Let's get down here. We're going to have Sunday. But look at where the arrow is going to move. The arrow is now going to move past the end of the file. And that's going to be important later. Okay, we're here. Whilst not days file, the end of file. Are we at the end of the file? Yes, we are. Okay. So because we're at the end of, of the file, 
That is gonna flip the logic round here. So because we're now at the end of the file, this whole line is gonna read false, which means our arrow now goes down to there and we'll close our file. So that's how you do it with a loop. That's as complex really as you'll get asked to do, I would think in any sort of pseudocode. Um, and that's how, yeah, you deal with files. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.